the lack of immigrant representation is a huge impact on football as a whole in Alberta. Like lots of immigrants in this country, the national team is made out of um, lots of immigrants. Uh, growing up, there were not many immigrant coaches. Um, automatically, growing up, not seeing many immigrant coaches, I didn't even consider coaching as an option. I don't see anyone that looks like me doing it. Why would I think I can't do it? Or that's an option for me, right? So first of all, in my head, I never ever considered coaching. Um, now that we have been able to put ourselves in that position and we're trying to progress through it, we understand why there's not many because the different obstacles that we're going through, it's not worth it. At the end of the day, if you have a family, you have a good job, you don't need this stress. You don't need to spend time and do things for other people if a lot of people don't want you to do it. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Go to work, come home, enjoy your time with your family. You don't need to make these sacrifices. There's different ways that people can be successful. It's not just have to be through soccer, about professional soccer. And, and we understand that not every kid is going to be a professional soccer player. Um, so everyone has their different pathways. So for us as coaches, we, we always want to listen to the players and what pathways they, they want to take, whether that's school, okay, how can we help you to get to the school that you want to get to? Uh, whether it's professional, okay, how can we get you to go to White Caps or FC Edmonton or Europe, right? Whatever your, whatever your goal is. I feel like BTB has like opened up like a lot of opportunities for us, especially in like the modern like football days. You know, like we have like direct connections to, to Germany now. I don't think like I'd uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like still like, be playing soccer. Like if it wasn't like for BTB, I probably would have stopped a long time ago. But it's good that I joined BTB. You know, they give me a, a lot of good opportunities to stay in the sport and take it serious at a, at, a, at the top level. We we believe we're in a position where we have too many kids that need us to continue to do this. Um, we want to be able to be the ones that break down these barriers that allows the next generation to be able to freely get into the game and also continue progressing to the game and coach, right? Um, we are willing to sacrifice and make sure that we're able to create some sort of pathway that eventually it won't be this difficult just to try to coach kids. So we have, we have another organization called Right to Succeed. So Pius, myself and my wife run that organization. So that's basically we're looking at creating university, um, university college and trades um, seminars. So now we can, the kids can understand, okay, this is what I need to go to university, right? This is what I need to go to college. Okay, some kids, they're not good at, at school. Some kids, they're not good at English, all that stuff. But now can we, can we get them in a trade? Can we get them into, um, into different type of businesses, and entrepreneur um, opportunities where they can use their talents? Um, so uh, partner with Right to, right to Succeed I think that's something that, that's our next step uh, for the players in the academy. But also for, um, there's some players that aspire to be professional players, right? And they're, they put in the work, they put in the extra work. So those players, with those players, we have, we have a relationship with FC Edmonton, we have a relationship with Whitecaps, we have a relationship with um, other MLS teams. And we also have, we're also trying to build a relationship with, with clubs in Europe. Some players that have a dream of playing in Europe and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we have seen players like Jonathan David, one of the top young strikers in the world. Um, he, didn't, he didn't want to go to Toronto FC, right? He, he trusted his coaches, he worked with his coaches, and uh, when the time was right, they took him to Belgium, to Genk, and now he's, he's, he's doing big things, right? But if a kid wants to be a professional soccer player, we're gonna make sure we provide all the resources and, all, and everything they need to work to, to, to get there.